Hey, Amy, do you feel as that something is missing from us, too? Like the birds from the Angry Birds game. Have you ever had that feeling before, Amy? Yeah, Jamie, I know what you mean, but I don't know who you're talking about, though. Jake! It's Jake! <laughs> Your brother just doesn't disappear without some clues hidden here. You have the right idea about clues, but look at this paper that he's clearly left behind for us. It says, Dear guys, I am not in my room. Please do not enter. Okay, let's just head to his room then. What? No one goes in Jake's room unless they have a death wish. What's so bad about his room? Okay, people, enough with this to me. I gotta keep moving on, you know. This episode doesn't take that long to be edited. Come on now. Who in the world was that just now? I have no idea. Just open the doorknob already. Oh, come on, his room is not even that bad. Not according to most rooms. There's a monster. I told you this would be bad. Oh, I hate cliffhangers. Hey, look, there's a light. We probably should go towards it. It was at that moment that these two didn't know that they're about to be pranked by the ultimate pranker, Jake. The awesomeness. Almost winning. One of the other readers can't set a tender switch. Hey, Amy, check this out real quick. Jake, why are you saying that wild goose says for nothing? So you guys can leave me alone with my step friends. You know, backup friends.